in the building we right back like we never left yeah i am still the honorable b webb and i am still here with my homie brad's in the building y'all know what time it is man don't, don't even play with us man we still got detox behind the boards yeah. we still going yeah it's been a long time it's been a nice run, man. We yeah, had a nice vacation. We had a little time. A little off. back. Thank you for all the sponsorship, y'all. You know <laughs> all what the mean? sponsorship. The YouTube cut a check. IG cut a check. So we uh we went to San Tropez, blew a bag. You know what I mean? Took a nice little vacation, hiatus, whatever you want to call it. We back. And we came back brand new. Look around. Yeah, like, look yeah. around. Get a Got feel a new for studio. It. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a little different. You know? Crazy when a check come in. Yeah, you see you yeah, look a little yeah. different. So, you know. Yo, we both got beards and haircuts. Yeah, yeah seriously. You know, it just hey, cost it. We ain't cost both a, had a beard at the shape same up, time. Shape ups. How much is shape up? Uh, Average shape up. Oh, last time I got my beard <laughs> cut, it cost me 75 plus <laughs> plus tax and tips, service fees, or came out the 105. So, so, so you know, if you got hair, that's, that's buck 50. It's a yeah, 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 yeah. It's buck 50. The beard. But yeah. we, we back. We bike. We here. Yeah, we back, baby. First thing. First things first. Mm -hmm. We ain't been here since January. Yeah. So I think it's time. It's appropriate for us to do a a check in, a checkup. It's twenty twenty three. Let's do a check in and a checkup. How's your year been going? So first of all, it's a little confusing because at work it's FY twenty four, but it's two thousand twenty three. So it confuses me all the time. I feel like I'm. That shit white people do to trick us up. I know. Corporate shit. Yeah. Corporate America motherfuckers. Uh, 2023 was cool. You know what I mean? Uh, this 50 years of hip hop shit is awesome. You know what I mean? I'm loving that, man. I mean, the events that have been happening here in D.C. We had to join up New York. I mean, this shit everywhere. By the way, I noticed that New York don't fuck with Snoop Dogg. We'll, I mean, we'll save that for later. You know what I mean? But um, he been saying that since back in the day. New York ain't got no love for Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. You remember that shit? Like, so I did. I, yeah, I did notice that. But other than that, man, I just, for me, I took the summer to just, I did a lot of vacationing, bro. A lot of vacationing. This happened to be a year for Cab Alpha Psi of our, our national conference, which yeah, we call Clay's, a conclave. conclave so Tampa up. was crazy, man. Was I mean, like, we had a good fucking time. Out like, there. Shout out to Tampa. Shout out to Tampa. Shout out to the brother yeah, Chris Jenkins. Chris Jenkins. Easy yeah, Miles. easy Miles. Better Miles. Believe yes, it. sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Hey, Better bro. It. You did your damn thing, Yo. boy. You did your damn thing. Yo, we appreciate news. you, man. Chris, we love Yo. you for that. Word yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, you know what I mean? It's been a, it's been a good, it's been a good summer, man. Um, you know, it's kind of my favorite season is the fall. You know what so I mean? Stepping into it. Yeah, you know, it'll be hot as shit. So you can't really you can't get your ass. I'm looking forward to putting some clothes on. Mm -hmm. You know, it's homecoming season for my brothers that, you know, at the HBCUs. I'm, I'm PWI motherfuckers just to remind y'all. We still here. Nah, I be. Stay true to the Shout HBCU. out to Stay True, man. Always Shout out that. to the nigga Smiley. Uh, but yeah, man, it's been a good stretch. I mean, the economy is crazy. The grocery store is nuts. It almost is cheaper to order out every night. No, for real. Yeah, Fizzly. yeah. That used to be different. You know what I mean? Fizzly. Uh, so they hitting us in the pocket real heavy. But other than that, man, it's yeah, nutty. Everything crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we here though. Yeah, we. Yeah, my my twenty twenty three has been interesting. Um, it ain't been easy. The year ain't been easy. It's been a lot going on, mm -hmm. but um, I'm lucky enough to be stepping into this fall with um, my kids, my twins, going to their senior year of high school. Look at you, man. Congratulations. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yo, we got sound effects. We are, we are real we damn up. deal. We <laughs> <laughs> but um, 
Shout out to K and K. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, I'm going yeah. on my first college tour with them uh, in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got sound effects. We get, <laughs> we got, we got, so hold on, you got high school graduates. Yeah, man, so maybe you're not as young as you told everybody you was. Oh, so hold up. Let's 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 backtrack. Let's When's go your fiftieth, Joe? <laughs> 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 I'm like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> yeah. No, so hold up. Since the last time we was here, I turned 40. <laughs> Since the right, last time right. we was here, That's I turned fact. 40. That's a fact. That's a fact. I got 40. I have 40 water on me. That you know 40 I mean? water. I got yeah. a 40 ounce on me. Uh-huh. Like, that was in July, I turned 40. So that's that's one of the joints. By the I way, I got a bottle of um, Ink Bing on the bar. Ink Bing is oh, what? Boy, <laughs> Yeah, hey, big daddy. <laughs> niggas from around the way know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? But dig, right? So 40, you know, 40 came. And I've been wondering, like, yo, am I at because I'm 40 now? Like, am I too old for certain shit? Like, am I too old to be outside like I used to be outside? Oh, wait. Tell America your new hobby. That tells you that you turned fucking 40. All of a sudden he wants you pull. <laughs> you shoot pool. Yo, I, I shoot pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my new shit. Cause I can't keep doing all that run up and down the basketball court and all this shit, man. I can't do all that. My yeah, knees ain't right. No, 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 no yeah. cap. No cap. I turned 40. Two weeks later, my right knee swole up. Mm-hmm. It was swollen for one week. Keep on. Keep on. I don't know what it was. I went to the gym. I did my regular workout. I played ball. I ain't making no crazy moves. I ain't come down. Raw and you know what I mean? Why well, none of that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My knee was swollen for a week. So I don't know, mate. Pool? I ain't never been hurt. Oh, age. Yeah, you on that. You know what I so, mean? So now I'm 40. I'm like, am I too old to be outside like I was outside? Am I too old to be going out drinking during the week? And, you know what I mean? Drinking till 1 or 2 a.m. like we used to be able to do. And I'll, I, think I'm, I think I might be past that. But then it's like, is you only as old as you feel you are. It's some 60 year olds are still out kicking ass. I mean, if your knees hurt, apparently <laughs> you, you are as old as you feel. <laughs> I mean, come on. Let's, Just be yeah. there. Wow. You know what I mean? All right, okay. All right. But yeah. Well, I mean, I think hip hop has a lot to do with it, right? Like, you know, being in being growing up in that hip hop era full throttle as 40 I mean we're still Lil Wayne's over 40 years old. I mean come on. So you know we're still much into that hip hop high uh, high activity want to be on the scene and then social media don't make it no better. I mean everybody's showing their highlight reels. You want to be you want to be outside. I mean, everybody outside is a term. But we outside. Before, if we talk I mean, about hip hop really culture, but. when you was forty, you was old. You was washed in, in hip hop culture before. Now it turned out like you still all right. But when we was coming up listening to it, if you was forty, you still rapping. You was whack. How old is Jada Kiss? Kiss past that. Kiss is forty. He's still cooking. He cooking four or five. But yeah, but we know we know yeah. they can cook. But before we was coming up, you used to look at hip hop acts like they was old when they turned that age. And now it's like, no, niggas are showing they can still go outside and do that. But that's how I'm looking at me being out like, yo, I can't. We was out at Law Society and Marvin and Big Chief and Park and shout out to DC. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? We was doing all that. Shout out to Chocolate City. And now, hey, cuz, I go play pool. I go back in the house. 11 o'clock, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm good. That, that late night shit is. I'm cool, man. All I gotta do is go get my milk and magnesium and go to, go yeah. to sleep. I think it depends. Like if we're trying to show cats a good time, they coming in town from somewhere. Like we try to hang out, show them everything. Try to still show love, but on. The, but on the what happens is when we show love, it whoops our ass for the next two days. We be down. Yeah. When you hang out, you be down, dog. Yeah, I hung out. Several days later, I had to have surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you, like, you went 
the night I went for kicking it. Two and a half yo, hours for hanging nigga out. Nigga had that <laughs> surgery bed outside. That's the only, yo, you ain't gonna hear that no other man, I time. Got, I got scars, Seriously. bro. Seriously. I got scars. Yo, so I was just wondering, like, is it in my past that? But we gonna see. I'm gonna keep trying it out. because Ever since we went to Tampa for Clay, and I got to go out and kick it with the bros, and me, I mean, get that old feeling back. I've been wanting to go out a little bit more. But, man, Bro, we ran, we ran and ran and ran. Work. I mean, to try to get an hour nap was graceful. It was nice. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? It was crazy to try. And, like, then you back on the scene. And what's so great about the frat is... Now you in brother's town, and they just want to show you. They want to show time. love. They want to like, show love. You don't have no time to my see. LB, JL, shout out to my LB. Yeah, yes, JL, you know, my, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, That's man. Straight yeah, up. Scene. Yeah. In my heart. Word yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Shout out yeah, to so, you, you know, man. There's a lot of brothers out there trying to show love, but since we oh, talking about know. brothers, since we talk about the noobs, right? Mm-hmm. I'm kind of tired. I'm, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to pussyfoot around it. Listen. Why the fuck do the bros keep letting these SG rows stroll and twirl canes and all this nut ass shit with them? And it's only the young boys that's doing it. And it's nutty. Y'all gotta stop this shit. If y'all so thirsty for love and affection and attention, go the fuck somewhere else. Go pay for a fucking joint off the street to show you some love for a little bit. Do something strange for a piece of change. Go get one of them. I'm tired of seeing y'all niggas on IG and Twitter and all this shit. And y'all got SG Rose doing all that shit. And half of them look like me. And y'all let them do all that. And then everybody in the comments is killing you. Because they like, yo, it's the noobs that's allowing this. You letting the, the SG Rose go through and do all this. Hopping your stroll line. They in there twirling their fucking blue and yellow canes and all this. Hey, dog, listen. When I was in this... And I was on the yard. SC Rose ain't jumped in my stroll line not one fucking time. Not once. They ain't twirl a cane not once. Now it's, it's, it's all right. What's wrong with these niggas, man? Well, first of all, it doesn't have nothing to do with SG Rose. I do a KSI. Kappa Alpha Psi. I do a KSI. You ain't, you ain't lying. Today has lost their fucking way. Okay. Everything is about shimmy like a noob and do this and do all of that, right? Um, you know what I mean? Like, yo, we got to get back to the gatekeeping. And we always talk, like, we come from a gatekeeping era. Yeah, we're from that. This don't we're have nothing that. to do with Sigma Gamma Rho, bro. Yo, the, the Deltas are doing it, the AKAs, the GDIs, everybody shimmies like a noob. Shoulders. It's nasty. You know what I it's mean? Nasty. Like we gotta stop it. Actually, the cane is almost gone. I mean, underground it ain't, but things ain't twirling like they like we used to. I, I just, still think church is the goat. Well, you know, it's gonna be. But I just want these young niggas to stop having these extra Shout out to the, uh, <laughs> church. Word up. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Nope? <laughs> stop them. From strolling and twirling. Hey. It's not any, just a rose, well. Yo, That's what I'm saying, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop, Let's man. get serious about this. Anybody that's interested in pledging Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated that's tired of seeing SG Rose all up in your stroll line. All up in the video. <laughs> All up in your step show. Yo, stop, man. Why are you pinning this on the pros? Come pleasure Z Mew. <laughs> it's that simple. We ain't Yo, doing all listen, that. Listen, man. Yo, I got a thousand rows right now that would jump in the comments and be like, Yo, we're not on that. We're not on that. And I don't know what's happening with your young bulls and cap, and I don't know what's going on with the young rows who's coming through trying to do that. Like, there was always a line of respect, bro. I don't know a campus I've ever been to and the Rose was disrespectful. Never, ever. I don't think they was the being ne- disrespectful. They're not being disrespectful by jumping in. This is the young boys that's allowing it. They inviting them in. So, so, that, so check the, the, the young boys, bro. It ain't, it ain't on the, the Rose. Check I, the young boys, bro. And that's it's just like that. But hold up. 
And you gotta start making boys again. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This matters. This matters. Episode over. This matters. Ball three is not in the mix. And they're about to be 20 years in the fucking bond. They need to start making boys again. They've lost their way. Kappa has lost its way because of all three. <laughs> Shout out yo, to the dudes. Yo, three, yo. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. On the subject of young niggas, right? And I, oh, and Fuck I, you, I, man. I, I want you to understand this, and I'm serious about it, right? Young bro, he ain't even that young for real. Like he older than me, but he plays after me, whatever, whatever. But I just went up to his wedding. I was in his wedding. I was at his wedding in Buffalo, you know. He older than you in life. Yeah, Younger but in the frat, friend. you better okay, believe okay. it. But uh, uh, shout out to my brother Paul. My brother Pastor Paul, Paul Thomas. Yes, sir. Paul. I was at his wedding and um one love to him and Janelle, his beautiful one wife. Love. One love. Uh, it was a it was a beautiful ceremony. I was happy to be there. Glad to be invited. You turned Christian so up there with honored. Pastor Paul. I, you, you know, should be Christian. Web. You should be Christian. God can see you doing the um the usher job with your hand behind your back Listen. doing this job. <laughs> <laughs> very similar to the Chester. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, man. Come on, man. Stop but, playing. I mean, he Paul a little older, so I understand where he's coming from. But one of my young boys had, you know what I mean, invited me to his job. And I'm just like, at this point, niggas can stop getting married, can't they? Like, they've, it's okay. You ain't got to do that no more. Like, we get can, married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young boys, young boys, y'all done seen the old heads go through this. I did that, so hopefully you ain't got to go through that. No, bro. It's, it's bigger than that. So... America makes you think this is about America, bro. America, oh, this is perfect. Niggas I got, overseas I got it. do this I got too, it. though. Uh, this is this this is from Instagram, right? And I, and I took a picture of this just for uh, this joint. Let me see. All right, this so, podcast. Here, that we here do? it go. Here it go. The American dream is a trap. Ninety thousand dollars college, forty thousand dollars wedding. $400,000 home, $50,000 car. People trap themselves in their 20s and spend the next 30 years trying to pay it all off. Real right. America does not run on Duncan. It runs on consumer debt. That's real. Super real. But those four those four things make up the American dream. And it's, it's not. But it's nothing you they can sold tell. This- There's nothing you can tell anybody. They, they sold have to go through that. it for themselves. But niggas can stop getting married. You do got to get married if you want to have a kid. Because if you don't, she going to clean your ass up. You cleaned up? You been cleaned up? No, actually. Are you the, are you no, the hockey I'll... stick or the puck? <laughs> <laughs> you been cleaned up. <laughs> no, 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 no. My particular situation is probably the exception, not the rule. So I get that. But if it's going to go that way anyway, why you got to go through all that marriage shit? Because love. I'm so in love. I'm degreed up. She's degreed up. Let's link up. I'm bad. You're bad. Let's have a kid. Let's do this, and then let's hate each other. I love smoking cigars. I ain't marry one. I love good whiskey. I ain't married a bottle. Yeah. I loved my dogs when they were alive. I didn't marry neither one of them. That'd be nasty. So why the fuck I got to go through this? Because of love. That's nutty. Because it's the American dream. Young That's boys, what I'm trying to say. Y'all paying it's attention to us, dream. right? You seeing it. Number one, you ain't got to invite me to no more weddings. I'm not coming. My RSVP, this is my RSVP. I'm serving it right now. No. I have a prior you obligation. Gift if you turn it down. I got a prior obligation. I can't make it. I'm sorry. Okay. I, got a very, I got a very short list of niggas whose weddings I'm still showing up to at this point. Anybody who's... I know. Let me recant that. Let me go talk about this other part later. But 
Not everybody I pledge with, I'm not showing up for, but some of them, a lot of them I am, but not everybody. Um, All your LB is married? No. No, oh, so you still got Jones to go. Fuck. Uh, no, you like might I just be said. In some more. Like I just said, I'm not showing up to everybody's show. Not yeah, even everybody you, I pledge but, with. But you're going to be in everybody, a couple more. Not, every, not even everybody I pledge with. I'm you not showing Dion up to Jones? all of them. Second <laughs> 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 Shout out the to the Easy Rock. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not, listen, 98 number young two. Young boys, y'all ain't got to do this no more, yeah. man. Listen to your OG, man. You ain't got to do this no more. We've been through that, man. Nah, we bro. We better than that. So hopefully you had to go through that. Both got bars. Uh, oh. Ain't nobody listening. No, I could put some bars together. I'm about to put out my mixtape. Yeah, put your jaw out, man. Yeah. Fucking anti-marriage mixtape. When did young boys ever listen? Never. I was a young boy. I ain't listening to shit. Exactly. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. What you Game got of life. For, what you got for me? Bro, I, we need to talk about this fucking Instagram. <laughs> All you right. know what I mean? So, what's going on in the clip is these young boys is... Let me just see it. I, I ain't seen roll, it. Let me see the tape. Dude. Let me look roll at it. Roll the tape. Way to show it to him. So you got these young boys, you know what I mean, stealing from the damn Gucci store in the drawers. Boys getting to it too. They stealing bags. Oh. They stealing and shoes. Running full they speed. Look at these young. I don't see. Now, I ain't never seen these. Young. We know exactly what's going on. What they about to do with all of this shit. But what 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 fucked me <laughs> up? They gonna boost it and get it to it. Yeah. All right. But what fucks me up is the comments. A spectrum of thoughts on this topic. It looked like they got to it. So One shout out to the say, young boys that got to it. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't condone looting. When looting starts to shoot. And Niggas start. look like they Ain't went, that what your man said? They went shopping. <laughs> That's what I see. They went shopping. But what about the comments? What are you talking about? Somebody said they'll do everything but get a nine to five. Now, I'm in corporate America, but if I knew better, I would think that's at least a microaggression. Might be a macroaggression. But all right, I, I could let that slide. Somebody said Gucci lost 50 bucks of material that day. That's real. <laughs> let's keep it a B. Like, <laughs> let's keep it a B. Like, all the way. Like a all the way. Let's dog. keep it a B. <laughs> Yo, uh, somebody said, who let them out the zoo? That's That's a white one. <laughs> That's a pale face who said that. Only a pale face would say that. <laughs> Yo, somebody they be said, wondering why we go and hit them with them chairs and all that shit when they get their ass beat. Oh, uh, what they call it, Joe? Uh, lift every chair and swing. <laughs> 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 when they get their ass whooped. Then they wonder why it happened. Yeah. The, motherfucker said, I was like, damn, you robbing Gucci. Then I seen the comments. I'm like, Fuck that Gucci store. Yeah, that's I real. Know, that's where, super real. Super where, real. Where are you? Where are you at on this, man? Because this, this, I mean, this is not. It's not good. You feel me? It's not good. Let's just be honest. It's not good. Niggas been stealing since niggas been stealing. Like everybody been stealing. White, black, sp Hispanic, you name it. Asian. They've been stealing. Everybody been stealing. Mm -hmm. I'd rather see. Some black motherfuckers run up in that white ass store and steal some shit, then run up in a black owned store and steal some shit. So let them go get to it. You Gucci ain't Gucci ain't about us. Gucci ain't about us. Gucci ain't for us. So I don't know a black owned store that you can go in and do that and you don't leave with something hot in your ass. See, Gucci got a policy that says let you go. can't cheat. Right. Let them go. Somebody stealing some shit, let you him see go. him, let them go. I'm about to put on my. This is showing up Germantown ass to say if a motherfucker come in here and still pull your gun out and put a bullet in that ass and the motherfuckers don't show up, that's the difference. If but they, I mean, if they walk in that museum out in DC, the level the museum. Oh, them boys up there! Yeah. Shout out to the museum. Hell, they you, won't even uh, come out and talk to me, and I ain't even still in that. But guess what? I bet you won't run up in there with it. <laughs> but no, you know you're mean? not going up. In but there with I don't shit. have no problem with you stealing from Gucci. All these crackers that stole how much from us? Land, banks, 
Family. All that other shit. Blood. What Gucci got to do with this? He was in Italy. Oh, fuck that. They benefited. Yo, you talk all this shit. You got on Gucci draws right now. I know you do. I don't got on no draws. Silky pop. <laughs> <laughs> 50 years of hip hop. Stay Yo, true. Gucci draws. Is wild. <laughs> Silky wild. Satin Gucci draws. I don't got, I don't got no draws on. That's the whole zone. You know what I'm saying? I'm all right, all moving right. and moving and grooving. The fucking colonel. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> yeah, tell them later. You get it on the way home. <laughs> Labor Day. <laughs> Labor Day, Joe. Yo, since we hold on, hold on, hold on. So wait a minute. I I was in the gym before I came to the studio to do this. Before we got back in. I went, I got off work a little earlier. I went to the gym, got my workout in. Some shit hit me. I said, I want to ask you about it. It's just something, you know, it's been popping out more on Twitter looking at shit. And I see women talking about, oh, I was in the gym and dude was looking at me and saying, or he walked past me or he finally cracked on me and said something. Am I to fucking understand that it's never been a woman who's ever looked at a man in the gym and thought he was attractive and kept looking at him. Women have never looked at a man in the gym ever since they've been in there. It's only when a woman gets looked at, when a man look at a woman, then they got to draw, oh, I can't even work out in peace. I can't do this, can't do that. Like, hold up. Where did this come from? Where this whole bullshit come from? Nigga see you in there in your sports bra and your tight shorts, and he admires that you working out, your body looks proper, you're pretty, whatever the fuck it is, he just find you attractive. Even if he only find you attractive for that 10 minutes that he see you. So the fuck what? Is it killing you? I can see if he over there trying to slow you down on your workout. But come the fuck on. I'll opine on this subject, but I want to have a question for Opine. Okay. Let me just make sure I understand. Is this the same as a woman who goes out in the streets socially and revealing clothes and not expect a man to say, hey, shorty, that don't look crazy or compliment the girl on whatever part of her body? Is this the same thing? It's essentially the same. Because how you wear all that out and all the stuff? You got your titties out. You got your ass out. You got all this stuff out. You got the high thigh going on. <laughs> the high thigh. High thigh. Shout out to the high thigh. Shout out to the high thigh. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, what do you expect if you if you if that's how you present? That's why the Muslim women garb up and wear the flowy stuff because I don't want you to lust. I look at it like I understand women wearing what they wear in the gym. I understand them wearing the tights and the and the, and the tight shorts and what the do you sports bra and all about that. that. I get that because that's what they make for it. That's the shit that's supportive to them. No, like, but you don't have to like it's become sexy. It's sexy. Yeah, now. they put the like, ass in the pants. Well, now. no, you go they to the lot, you go to a lot the, of ass in them pants. Go to the makers of the of the product. They're going for sexy because they know. Like, hold on, bro. Chicks is working out in vans and chucks and all that. All uncomfortable footwear. No, 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 no. Vans and chucks have, they're flat on the bottom. So they're good for squats and deadlifts. So I understand why you do it. Because men work out in the same gym. Right. So if you're going to do cardio, you're going to go change them, right? Yes, you do. Yeah, they don't. In fact, they don't do cardio. So they do. Let's Let's go. You just got... Surgery. So, <laughs> but I understand them wearing. I understand you wearing a sports bra. I understand you wearing tights so the, or the biker shorts or whatever. Like whatever the workout gear is, I get that because that's what's made for, it and it's probably comfortable and supportive. And I get that. But just because a man looks at you or happens to give you a compliment, like come calm the fuck down. Like, what world do we live in where you can't compliment somebody else? Now, if a boy is like in your face. It's slowing your workout down and keep, you know what I mean, on you. I get that. But you got to calm the fuck down. Like a woman never looked at a man a certain way. Like women never did no shit. So you got to understand something too, Red. Let's play the devil's advocate. 
the niggas that actually go to the gym to work out, they not doing told all that. their non-workout niggas, like, yo, you know the Jones be in the gym looking crazy. And they like, oh, I'm a shark like that. So I'm, I'm going to go show to up. the gym. And just be there and be creeps. And be it be nothing. The yeah, you're right. Just walking you're right. slow as shit <laughs> on the treadmill, just like, oh, shorty doing deadlifts. Wow. You know what? You know that's what real. Like, like I be you're a them. gym thespian versus cats that that's just never in there. Step just just in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? They draw. Yeah. All right, I get it. But. Some validity to what you said. <laughs> <laughs> when we gotta cool the fuck out. Hey, All dude. right.